So, our topic for today is all about the factoring. No? So, factoring using the difference of two squares. By the way, if you didn't know me, no? my name is Aurelio Isip. I'm a math teacher from Baisa High School. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung aking uh, part 1 ng this video, which is the common monomer factor, no? factoring pa rin, type 1 siya ng, kung, ng factoring is the common monomer factor. Pwede nyo siyang balikan no? sa mga videos ko. So, let's talk about the common, uh, not common, no? sa difference of the two squares. So, in the difference of two squares, so, how do we factor difference of two squares? So, paano ba natin pinapactor niyan, yung difference ng two squares? From the word itself, difference, so meaning, subtraction, squares, two squares. So, dalawang, the first term, squared siya, tsaka the second term. So, how do we factor this, no, using the difference of two squares? So, Let's have a review, no? So, before, before we have a difference of two squares, halamin muna natin what are the squared number, no? Be familiarize muna kayo. Mapamiliarize muna kayo sa squared number. For example, one squared, two squared, three squared. So, yung one squared, one, four, nine, 16, 25, 36, 49. These are the squared numbers, no? So, this is the reverse process, no? Nang i-square root mo. Kunyari, the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 81 is 9. So, yung squared number, yung square root mo, yun yung re reverse process niya. So, be familiar. Pwede na kayong punta sa 11 squared, which is 121, kung gusto nyo pa, no? So, magiging familiaris muna kayo rito kayo dito, then kapag familiar, familiarize na kayo rito, no, pwede na, no, kayang-kaya na natin yung topic na to. So, so, ngayon, no, punta naman tayo sa factoring the polynomials. Tingnan natin yung kanyang, paano ba tayo magpa-factor, no? So, factoring polynomials using the difference of two squares can be illustrated. So, alam natin na x squared minus y squared, no, so, x squared minus y squared equals x plus y tapos x minus y. So, ang gagawin dito, no? Uh, first step is put two braces, no? Dalawa, uh, dalawang braces yan, no? So, ang gagawin mo dyan, no? Yung isa, lalagyan mo ng plus sign. Yung isa naman is minus sign. Ganun lang katili. Pwede mo kabaliktad. Pwede mo unahin yung minus sign and then the plus sign. So, ang x squared minus y squared, no? So, kung gagawin mo dito, you just square root. No? Square root the first term. So, x squared. So, ang square, square root mo yan, ang mga nakitira lang dyan is x. And the next term is y squared. Pag square root mo yan, no, y din matitira dyan. So, magiging, alalagay mo lang sa una, no, x plus y. Kung gusto mo, plus muna, no? x plus y. Then, x minus y. So, is squared mo muna, yung first term and kaka yung last term tas ilalagay natin dito sa bawat first term and last term dito sa naka-factored form lang naka-factored form na siya so ganoon lang kadali no ganoon lang siya kadali mag is ano uh, factoring using the difference of two squares no so let's have an example no? so determine the factors of this x squared minus 25 so yung 25 Alam natin yan sa, sa squared number, no? So, kapag in square root mo yan is 5. So, punta tayo sa x squared, no? So, x squared. So, square root natin x. x squared. So, x siya. Square root natin yung, yung 25, which is 5. No? Then, ang gagawin mo rito, no? Sabi ko, two braces. Yung isa, ilalagay mo sa, ang lalagay mo is plus. Yung isa naman is minus. So, ilalagay mo lang sa bawat isa, i-distribute -distribu mo lang, tig-iisa sila. So, x no, plus y, uh, x plus 5, and then x minus 5. So, ganun lang kadali. Okay, let's go to example number 2. No? Example number 2 is 9x squared minus 16. Alam natin yung 16 is the squared number nyan, no? <clears throat> so, pag square natin yan, yan ay 4, tsaka no, 4. Tapos yung 9 naman, no, square natin yan, 3 din. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no, i-square root muna natin yung 9, so, and x squared. 
So, pag square natin yan is, ano, 3x. No, yung 9, pag square mo, 3. Then, yung x squared, pag square mo, is x. No, so, 3x is the first term. And then, the last term, which is 16, no? So, square mo yan, ang mangyari dyan, no? 4. So, mangyari sa isang braces, sa isang brace, no? So, 3x plus 4, and then, yung isa naman is 3x minus 4. So, ganun lang kadali. Mag- factor using the difference of two squares. Okay. Punta na tayo sa number three. Punta na tayo sa example number three. No? So, determine the factors of B raised to 4 minus C raised to 4. So, sabi nga natin, no? So, the B raised to 4 minus C raised to 4 kasi siya na kayo sa aso, no? Equal, so meron tayong dalawang braces dyan, no? So, isa, pwede nating lagay ng plus, isa naman ay minus. Pwede magkabaliktad, yung isa gawin natin minus, yan naman yung plus. So, punta muna tayo sa first term. So, B raised to 4. So, parang gagawin natin is square root natin ang B raised to 4, no? Pag square, square root natin yan, no? Alam natin na 2 ang index nito. So, B raised to 4. So, magiging fraction yan, no? 4 over 2. So, what is 4 over 2? This is B. Magiging fraction siya, tas denominator. Magiging denominator ng exponent mo. So, B raised to 4 over 2 is B squared. So, yan yung square root ng first term. So, ganun din naman sa last term, no? This term. Second term. So, Mayari dyan, C raised to 4 over 2, magiging denominator siya siya. So, magiging C squared. So, meaning, no, the factor form of B raised to 4 minus C raised to 4 is B squared, ito naman ay B squared, then C squared, ito naman ay C squared. So, these are the factors of this form, no? Okay. So, let's go check, no? So, check natin. Tingnan natin, no? Pag nag-check tayo nito, gagamit tayo ng FOIL method. No? So, check na, check natin, no? So, let's check, no? B squared plus C squared multiplied by B squared minus C squared. So, using the FOIL method, no? F stands for first. Ano yung first term nilang dalawa? No? So, B squared times B squared. Ang O, outside. So, B squared tsaka C squared. Yung parehas na magkalayo. No? So, B squared times C squared and then inside. No? Inner term. So, C squared minus B squared and the last. No? C squared times the C squared. So, ano yung mga yan? No? So, B squared times B squared is B raised to 4. Ito naman ay B squared minus sorry no minus to no minus c squared so negative yan no c squared no and then yung inner no unay natin yung b b squared then c squared no and then c raised to 4 ko ano napapansin natin dito no ano napapansin natin dito pwede siyang mawala no kasi isa negative isa positive. So, 0 yan. So, ang mangyayari dito, no? B raised to 4, kaya si raised to 4 na lang ang matitira. So, lipak ang kanyang product is B raised to 4, C raised to 4. So, pag chinek natin itong product niya. No? Example number 4, na determine the factors of A squared B raised to 4 minus 81. So, the first term, no? Yung square root ng first term. So, A squared so, square root natin yan, A squared B raised to 4. So, ang mangyari dyan, no? So, A, 2 over 2 kasi 2 to, no? And then, B raised to 4 over 2. So, ang mangyari dyan, no? 2 over 2 is 1. So, A raised to 1, no? Minsan, hindi natin sinusulat dyan. Then, B, 4 over 2 squared. So, yun yung first term. The second term, no? Square root of? 81. Alam natin squared number yan, no? So, yan ay 9 ang kanyang 
fruit, no? So, ang nangyari dyan, so, so, na yan, no? no? Positive and negative na, hindi na natin pupunta, hindi na tayo pupunta dun, no? So, ang nangyari dyan, ay, ang factored form ito, no? Hindi na natin siya i-check. So, yan ay, may dalawang brace. Yung isa naman, yung isa ay A, B squared plus 9. Yung isa naman ay A, B squared minus 9. So, ganun lang kadali. No? So, sana may natutunan kayo, no? So, don't forget to like. No? Then, share natin sa iba sa mga nangangailangan, no? And then, don't forget to subscribe. Pakihit na rin yung bell icon, no? Para naman updated ka sa mga susunod ko pang videos, no? That's all, no? Good luck, soldier!